Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw aboard Celestials Cristal, and we're here uh, actually in Greece, and we're just going all around the islands, and this is my third time doing this cruise, and I'm here with Chris Thea Theophilides, who is the CEO of Celestial Cruises. And we're going to talk to Chris about how we've all emerged from the crisis, from the pandemic, how his line has done, and we're going to talk about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Chris, first of all, great to see you again. We saw each other back in Miami when there, when was that? Sea trade, that was a long sea time. Sea trade, a long time ago, wasn't it? it wasn't was, it, James? It a long time ago in a land far, far away. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable how time has slid over the last couple of years. Well, let's talk about how Celestial really has emerged. How long have you been back cruising now? Well, we started uh, June 12th, so it's, it's really all, not even a month just yet, but we do have both ships uh, operating. So uh, they are now this ship, this is the Cristal, and the other one is? The Celestial Olympia uh, has also commenced her operations uh, a few days ago, so we have the bo both ships in operation that were operating uh, up to, the, up to uh, uh, 2019. We've since purchased a third ship. Uh, that's the Celestial experience which you, you got from Costa and you've really redone it, right? Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're super excited about that uh, acquisition uh, and that ship though is planned for uh, March of 2022 to come online with us, so we'll be launching her next year. Now, what have you had to do uh, because of COVID-19 regulations, and they keep changing, uh, to, to make this ship sort of healthy and safe? Well, you know, I think I think uh, we need to recognize, and kudos to the EU, there was a, an EU-wide framework for uh, health protocols. We have been very active as a company through CLIA and through EU Healthy Gateways that are responsible for the protocols in cruising across Europe uh, to develop these protocols. So we were quite active in, in developing all the new uh, protocols. It's, to be fair, you know, it's, it's I think, more straightforward to um, uh, implement them uh, on, on smaller or medium-sized ships as we are than on, on larger ships. And so, you know, it has been a task, uh, but I, I think it's more manageable, you know, with, with uh, medium-sized ships. Well, uh, you, we, what happens here is you do have to take your temperature every day and there's a little machine that we all have to figure out, put your card in and it speaks to you and says, come closer, come closer, <laughs> and then it says, Okay, you're, you're, you're okay. So that's been cool, but you also had testing requirements. I think we had to get a PCR test and then you did another test when we got on board, right? That's, that's correct. Or just before. We, you know, I mean, um, you, passengers do need to come with a negative PCR test uh, uh, upon arrival at the port and on the day of embarkation, we run at, at our expense, uh, not at the, at the guest's expense, uh, a rapid test just to make sure that, you know, every week we reset and we know that, you know, we, are, we, are, we don't have any positive cases. Uh, as, as we uh, embark on another cruise. During the course of the cruise, we also do some tests uh, as well, just to monitor the situation. Uh, and, and that's about it in terms of, um, you know, the impact to the experience. Uh, from there on, whatever you have on land about mask wearing and social dis dis distancing also applies on board. Right. So, you know, the impact from there on is not as evident. There's a lot of stuff in the background. Sure, uh, right. uh, I'm sure you, you might be aware, you know, there's a lot of investment on the ventilation systems and making sure it's 100% fresh air, no recirculation. And that requires adjustment and investment. And also we've, we've invested in the latest technology filters uh, and, and also UV lighting, uh, you know, and stuff like that that the guest is not aware of, but it has r significantly improved the already, you know, high air quality that you find on board uh, modern cruise ships. But it's just taken just a couple steps forward now. But you haven't required, uh, say, vac vaccinations, right? No, we haven't. We haven't because, you know, we, we are a, a line that, that you know, that has quite a bit of uh, following from families. And it's difficult when you do have, you know, parents vaccinated, children not vaccinated to, to make sure it's a seamless experience for the whole, whole family. Uh, and, and because of the negative PCR testing um, and the ongoing testing throughout the voyage, we have a pretty fair picture of what's going on. The fact of the matter is, uh, in, in large part, our guests are vaccinated. It's yeah, just, no, it, and in it, fact, it's, said, it's just and the, and a large part of your crew is too. About somebody told me, 95% of the crew is vaccinated no, as actually, well. Actually, you know, uh, now as we speak, the whole crew is is, is, is vaccinated. Okay. Uh, what we have is, uh, you know, quarantine before they they join. You know, we vaccinate, they quarantine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but, you know, 
a lot of people, uh, because this reflects really what's going out in the marketplace, like right? North America and Europe, which is the primary source of our, our, of our guests, the vaccination rollout programs are doing quite well. And you see that reflected on board, you know, that the, the vast majority are already vaccinated in, in any event. So it's really just another layer of comfort and safety. Well, I really want to stop talking about COVID and pandemic right now because there's much more interesting stuff to talk about. The itineraries you're featuring here, talk a little bit about the itineraries that you're featuring on both of your ships this year. Listen, I mean, as always, we know we try, we try and, 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 and have those marquee destinations, of course, that everybody has been dreaming about visiting. But, you know, we sprinkle in those hidden gems. And this is what Celestial is, is about. That well, we you went to Rhodes the first time. You went to Rhodes for the first time. Well, that's great. But, you know, places like Patmos and places like Milos uh, that, you know, larger ships can't, can't get into. Uh, uh, you typically find ships of the luxury end of the market in these destinations because they're so exclusive and so secluded as destinations. And the experience is so authentic. And it's true Greece, you know, uh, and, and you get a real... Um, um, immersion and enjoyment of you know the gastronomy and, and all those restaurants on the beach and, and tavernas. We, we had a few of those we were talking about it earlier yeah. and some in incredible experiences even in places that people are more familiar with like Santorini uh, and we're heading to Mykonos actually in a few hours so you, you can come with us I think you have to get up. I have to jump off so you, <laughs> you enjoy Mykonos on your own but as, as you rightly point out even in the marquee destinations we do we, we, you know, we, because we cater to a smaller group of, of guests at any, any given moment in time, because our ships are smaller, we can have those more personalized and, and, and more authentic experiences. So you were mentioning earlier about a nice, uh, uh, a, a nice excursion to a, a music um, and yeah, it was uh, a, a, a sim symposium, which is an amazing experience. And, and I'd never, I'd been with you on two other cruises and never, well, they're fairly new, but, yeah. uh, and I think you took your kids, right? I took my kids and they're still raving about it. It's been two years already. I mean, it's these type of things that you want to leave lasting memories. Uh, we have the capability being a local company and knowing all all of you know what's av uh, available out there to 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 ensure that we curate these sort of experiences and people leave with the best of memories from Greece and their trip with Celestial, something that they won't find on larger ships. And that's it. And and so you have, and I think you have a three continents cruise you're running too, right? That's doing fantastically well. It's not running currently. It's it's slated for the fall. Yeah. Uh, it uh, the but booking wise, it's looking demand good. is 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 fantastic on that. It and and, and I'm not surprised. Uh, I mean, it's when you look at the itinerary. I mean, visiting. Uh, the pyramids, visiting the Holy Lands, visiting Cyprus, visiting the, the highlights of, 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 you know, of Greece during the same period. You see Europe, Asia and Africa in one week. It's just the, the diversity of culture uh, is just phenomenal. And yeah. you, it's, 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 I'm not surprised that there's so much demand for it. Yeah. Well, and then you've got the new ship coming out in March 22, uh, the, 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 the revamped uh, uh, experience, Celestial Experience, and that I'm sure that's going to be doing some interesting stuff well. That's, that's, that's uh, true. It's going to be on our seven-day product exclusively, uh, and we've, we've, uh, we have so much demand for, for certain itineraries that the uh, experience will be taking over those itineraries. Amongst them is the, the three continents uh, that we just mentioned. Uh, and she's also going to be exploring some interesting uh, itineraries that we'll be announcing shortly as well. Well, we're looking forward to it because you're very creative with your, your itineraries. And you look, I mean, years ago I went, went to Cuba with you. You're not doing that one anymore. But it actually, I will tell you, it was the best Cuba cruise. I, I can't imagine a better Cuba cruise. I would agree with you. I, I did. I, I, had, I had the opportunity to do the seven-day uh, Cuba cruise, and it was fantastic. But we'll try to replicate that in this part of the world as well for people coming from far away, like North America. You know, being the local player here, I think, gives us an edge in, in making sure people get off I've the I've already beach. noticed that a few times, like, ah, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. We'll, yeah. we'll get in there wherever I want to go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we have a good rapport with the local authorities and, and also the local communities. And we actually help each other out, uh, you know, in difficult times as well. You know, we, we support the local communities. And, it's, you know, there's an affinity, you know, we're the local company and, and, and people appreciate seeing our ships pull up in the harbor. Now, one of the things that's coming back to uh, hopefully this fall is you do a, a when, when when major tour operators like a Trafalgar or Globus or uh, Gate One and those uh, they advertise a 10-day gr uh, Greece program. You're part of that very often, so that's coming back soon. Yes, it is. We you know we were in contact with our trade partners. You know, everyone across travel had a rough uh, 16 months. 
uh, but everyone has been doing their planning. The, you know, that, that's uh, set to continue and uh, there's actually quite positive signs about you know, the next few months of that business ramping up as it used to be. I know they're starting to offer it. I believe me, I just, uh, I just wrote a press release from Insight saying yep. you know, that, that they're, they're looking for Greece for tours, but they don't say part of that probably is on your ship. Well, that's right. I mean, we're embedded within that product, uh, and and it's it's a great partnership. You know, they're escorted tours. They get to see the the classical Greek land base. You know, the civilization and the ancient uh, civilization of Greece, uh, and then they get to taste the Greek islands with us. So it's you know, what better partnership than that? Now, anything else you want to tell our travel advisor friends out there uh, uh, about Celestial? Uh, what's what what the experience is like now, and what's to come? Well, I mean, the experience is, is even better now in the sense that, as you see in the destination, you know, the, the numbers haven't ramped up uh, yet. So it's, it's really, even in the marquee destinations, you get to see more than, you know, you would have uh, in normal conditions. So I think now is a great time to, to make that trip. Uh, there's a, a huge number of uh, direct flights now from North America to Greece. Uh, and Celestial has taken advantage really of the last uh, few months of the downtime to uh, have these exciting plans for the future. We've invested quite a bit in our technology and travel partners will find us much easier to work with going forward. We're rolling out our new reservation system in, in, in a month or so uh, with Seaware. Uh, we announced that recently and you know that's, that's quite a project. So you know, we took advantage of the down, downtime to accelerate that project. In, in addition to purchasing the Celestial experience, making sure you know we, we, we bring her on brand and to what Celestial is all about. So we've taken advantage of, uh, of the downtime and now I think travel partners are set to uh, recoup their, their downtime and, 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 and uh, work with us uh, on the future. Sprite. Well, Chris, I want to thank you for taking the time on board. I know you have to get off. I wish you could come yeah, with us. I think us. the captain uh, the, is you to pull it away. I think you've got to, <laughs> got to race for the, the, the boat. Well, we're actually docked here. Uh, thank you so much. It was great to see you again. And thank you once again, because this is uh, sort of a secret product in many ways. It's getting less secret. But I've always thought it, it's a marvelous product. The, the, the onboard product is great. And plus, you are going to some of the most incredible islands and destinations on Earth. Thank you. Thank you very much, James. And, and uh, we, we, we feel the same sentiment. And we're we're doing our best to be more and more known uh, out in North America because we truly believe this product is ideally suited for the North American guest that wants to get to know the real authentic Greece. And that's what I've been doing uh, the last few days and I'm going to luckily enough have a few more days to do it. Well Chris, hopefully you'll see you in America soon and uh, or maybe another Greek island. <laughs> I plan to be in America in a couple of months so okay. yeah I'll see you there in Miami. Uh, well, uh, sea trade of course, yeah, we're back yeah. to that right? Yep, yep well, and uh, we're looking forward to it actually after a couple of years right? Absolutely. <laughs> well listen, uh, we're, we'll, we'll be going to Miami together, we'll be going to Greek islands this has been a fantastic cruise. Uh, get your clients on board because uh, you can go cru cru cruise in Greece now. You don't have to wait. There's air coming in and uh, Celestial is a great product for to do exactly just that. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.